Hi, so I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to create a speech bubble in GIMP. We're going to be using the path or vector tool. We're going to use selections. We're going to use layers and the fill tools. So first of all, I'm just going to create a new image. There we go. I want a white background, so I'm going to use the fill tool and foreground color for that. Then I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to select the Paths tool. And I just want to show you what happens if you don't hold down the left mouse button when you put down a point and move the mouse at the same time. So I'm just going to click, 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 close. So this doesn't look like a speech bubble. If you want the handles for the paths or for the path points, you're going to have to click on the line and move the line. Now we got handles. Now you can shape the speech bubble from there. There we go. So we'll get there, but that was quite a long process. So if you want to do that a lot quicker, just hold down the mouse button when you click. Hold the button down and move the mouse. There I've got the handles. Now you can already set up your shape pretty much as you want it. And I'm going to close the path by holding down control and the cursor guide changes to an infinity symbol. Close it. There we go. So I'm pretty much already there. I can decide whether I want that corner sharp round I quite like it round like that now I'm going to create a selection and I'm going to fill it with black shrink the border and then fill it with white so on this layer I'll call this the shrink method and say selection from path there I've got a selection now my workflow is to get rid of the path I always switch to the rectangular select tool by pressing R on the keyboard. R and now I've got a selection path tools are gone. I'm going to fill it with black. I'm going to select shrink the selection by five pixels. Fill the inside with white. Press R to get to the rectangular select tool. Click anywhere. There we go. Selection cleared and I've got my speech bubble. So just to show you, it's on a separate layer. Layer. If I hide the background, there we go. I'm just going to move that over here, and we're going to create the speech bubble using the vector and stroke path tool. So to get the vector back, I'm going to go to the paths window over here, double click it. There it is, and say stroke path. But we want to do that on a separate layer. So add a new layer. And we'll call this stroke path. Stroke path, also five pixels. And I'm not going to get rid of the path tool. I'm first going to say selection from path again. Clear it. And I'm going to create another layer that I want to put behind that line. I'm going to fill that with white. There we go. And I'm going to move these ones out of the way so that you can see we used two different methods to create the same looking speech bubble.